I think what we're about to do right now is hook up the shop back and see if we can sweep or suck all this sand out of the bed. Normally I wouldn't care because it's truck, you know what I mean? It's meant to be worked and be dirty, but it keeps leaking down onto the roll pan. It looks like crap and I'm tired of cleaning it. So I'm going to try and see if I can get it, most of it out with a shop vac. I guess we'll see. I tried pressure washing out and that was a complete nightmare. So uh, I guess get the BMW back in here first and then shop the, back the bed out. So Got the BMW back in the garage. Looks like we got most of the stuff out of the bed. What I did was I like scraped up all this and then swept it, like sucked it out. And I swept all the way to like right here and then I flipped it on the blower side and then blew most of it out. So we should be good. It'll probably still happen until it's like all washed out completely, but should be a lot better. Um, now I'm just going to uh, kind of blow the sand off that and then wet sand the front bumper and try to buff it and then should be going to the car wash right after that just to rinse off like all this dirt and little stuff like this that's gotten on it and then uh, should be good to go for good guys tonight get some food at some point okay so you guys probably don't remember but like there was like rust like 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 when you have a bolt that rusts and it drips down kind of thing around these bolt holes and then on the license plate area i wet sanded that stuff out but like i'm gonna wait on this like if you can tell i'm not sure if you can tell yeah you can see like a little bit of corrosion inside the chrome uh i'm waiting to hear back from a couple people to see if i can try to wet sand that out or if i should like polish it out i'm not sure how to go about doing that it's not really that noticeable from far back you can just see the stripes but uh, I'm hoping to get that taken care of soon. What's up, guys? Uh, so I know yesterday, like, I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to Quaker State. And, like, never recorded after that. But today is day two of Quaker State. Last night we came here. Ton of cars. Like, you can just see. This is just the parking lot. And then that's, like, the actual show over there. Um, we did a nasty burnout last night. But... this weird thing happened on the freeway like I hit a bump and it felt like the rear end like got loose but I don't know like the winds are really high though so I think it could have been like a really strong gust of wind I think I'm just paranoid but uh yeah we're about to go walk the show and stuff and then tonight um we're definitely gonna do a, a big rowdy burnout try to get as many videos as I can got my camera I'm gonna take some pictures of some of the stuff here and uh yeah This thing is sick. It's straight gold, dude. Car seat in the back. Straight up dropped. Update, Trey's making us walk everywhere we don't want to. Update, I'm filming a vlog. I haven't even filmed this whole time. So I'm about to do a fat ass burnout at Good Guys. I'm just letting the truck warm up right now. Hopefully we don't blow anything up. And uh, I'm gonna let it eat. I got it in Tune 3 now, which Tune 3 like has longer shifts and it doesn't go into overdrive, so I'm hoping it doesn't bog down like it did yesterday. And yeah, we're gonna try to do the best burnout that has been done on the street at least. So yeah.
Here's the Quaker steak burnout aftermath. Uh, this is just from the one night because I cleaned everything off the first night. So the first video you seen I did a burnout, cleaned off the next day, and then this is only from the burnout, uh, the last burnout I did. But it's all over there, all over, all of that, and then the tires. Not much there, uh, which isn't a big, big deal because we only drive this thing when it's dry out, really. And we're getting new tires anyways because we just put these on to go get the truck aligned and it's already aligned. So at least it's, I mean, it's camera aligned. It still needs like a toe adjustment, but that's pretty much the aftermath. And like on the other side, there's like rubber stuff all over the bed. And But the good news is literally with the dip, it just literally wipes off because it's rubber. So rubber on rubber just cleans right off. So honestly, I'm pretty proud of the truck because uh, we took it out, did two massive burnouts, drove the crap out of it. And then the last video you've seen, after doing a huge burnout, we drove this thing like two hours or an hour and a half round trip around all night. So pretty impressed. Um, also found out the other day that if I like brake boost it while rolling, it literally knocks the tires off at like 30 miles an hour. So that's makes me like a, I'm like a proud dad. Like I did something with this thing, super reliable here lately. I know at first it wasn't looking good with reliability. We were having all those problems when we first got the truck done, but lately it's just been kicking and kicking and kicking. And honestly, I just couldn't be more happy. Uh, the truck has been great. Um, like I said, I, I do want to get a better trans cooler for it just to prevent from hurting this. That's why I, there's been a ton of opportunities I've had to use this thing for towing and I just haven't yet because one, I want to shorten the hitch up so that it fits with the roll pan nice. We need to put a new trailer harness on here because it's the, uh, whoever did the last one before I owned the truck just butchered it. And then also I'd really like to get airbags, which isn't a, a mandatory thing, but want to get airbags and then um really want to get a cooler because i really just don't want the trans to get hot that's what kills these 47 re's um is heat uh, a lot of people don't realize that 47 e's really aren't bad transmissions but when they get hot they do not cooperate well with that so having a really overkill trans cooler is not a bad idea for these transmissions so i already have a transmission or a cooler in mind just haven't got around to getting it yet. It's actually not even that expensive, so I'm just lazy. It's funny how the truck looks like a complete different color in this lighting in here. But um, yeah, guys, uh, super happy with how the truck responded and did at Quaker. Uh, hearing all the like screaming and the cheering, doing the burnouts and stuff was just super sick. People love this thing. Um, a, it stands out like a sore thumb. Even before it was painted purple, people flock to this thing and I love it uh, so many people come up and talk to me and you know definitely uh, one of the things that makes me the happiest is owning this truck is so many people think it's cool because it's like you get the the sweet Cummins engine with a nice square body you just can't go wrong and people just people love it so uh, yeah if you guys ever see me out at a, an event um, don't be scared to come up and talk to me I've had a couple people message me and like, hey, I seen you out, but didn't want to come up and bother you. You're not going to bother me, trust me. Come up and say, hey, I love talking to everybody. And uh, yeah, so Quaker State Aftermath, truck still runs and drives. The only reason it's in the garage is because it's going to be like 118 degrees this weekend. I'm not driving this thing in that kind of heat because it doesn't have AC and the interior is black and the whole top half of the truck is black and it's just like a freaking sauna inside that interior with heat so we'll get it out this weekend um but yeah appreciate you guys watching thanks to everyone that was at quaker thanks to everyone that took videos of the truck doing a burnout that was super awesome of you guys um thanks to anyone that subscribed after seeing the truck at quaker because i got like a few probably like 10 sub random subscribers that night um because i do have that youtube thing on there so if you are one of those people that subscribed after seeing the truck you're awesome thank you uh, and I think you can agree that after seeing the truck in person, it looks better in person, I, I think. So, 
that's going to wrap up this video, guys. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed some rowdy burnouts. See you in the next video. Deuces.